Hello and welcome to free Excel tutorial videos. For today's video, we will take a look on how we can calculate overtime hours in an time in an Excel time card, and we will be looking at how we can see the standard hours of work, um, the hours work as well as the overtime hours, and then we calculate the payments uh, for standard and also overtime rate. So when you calculate time in Excel, getting the getting the format correct is very important. Okay. So in this spreadsheet, I have created a simple time chart. Okay. We have the days of the week. Obviously, it's the weekdays, and uh, also the cell entries for uh, when the employee clocks in to begin the work of the day here. Um, when they go out for lunch, um, the time they come back or return from lunch the time they and the time they leave uh, the end the end of work for the day okay and what we want to find out is the hours that they work the regular hours and the, also the overtime hours if there are any so calculating the number of hours work for the day is a fairly standard calculation okay so let's come over here to this cell over here and type equals and let's take um, left parenthesis take the time they went out for lunch <coughs> subtract the, uh, the time that they came in for work close parenthesis and we have to add it uh, another calculation so the next one will be the time they leave their work subtract the time they come back from the lunch okay and hit uh, let's use control enter to stay in the same cell and now you see the result we have worked nine hours but due to the format we are getting the a.m. p.m. so we have to get rid of the a.m. p.m. format so to change this let's uh, right click go to the format cells and here In, in, in this format cell instead of having the time we want to have custom okay so custom we will choose H for hours colon and uh, mm for minutes so let's click OK and now we have uh, nine hours okay so let's um, let's copy down the formula and we have the hours work for uh, each day okay so we have nine hours we have nine and a half hours nine hours seven and a half hours and eight hours and notice here that uh, the standard working day is eight hours okay so so let's come here to calculate uh, what we need for our calculation we need to find out the regular hours and the overtime hours so to do this uh, we will use the if function okay we want to say if the number of hours will exceed the standard hours okay and if the value is true what we want to do so we want to say that the standard hour a day is eight hours so here's how it goes let's type equals if uh, tab and then we uh, I'll use the control a to bring up the function arguments and uh, the logical test is going to be the hours of work and we want it if it's greater than eight hours okay so this eight hours over here the standard work day hours is going to be uh, used for the other cells below so we want to make it uh, as an absolute rep cell reference so the fastest way to do this is to use the keyboard shortcut f4 okay so you see the dollar sign in front of the L uh, column and the dollar sign in front of row number one. So if the value is true, we want the cell to display eight hours because over here we want the regular hours, right? And if the value is false. We want to calculate the hours, uh, the number of uh, what do you call it, the, the, the overtime hours. Okay. So we want to take the the hours work, 
okay and we want to minus we want to if the value is false we want to show the number of hours work okay so it's going to be this cell over here and then click okay so uh, once again you see the format like this it's in the wrong format so we need the format from this cell so let's right click use the paintbrush and let's apply the format to the rest of the cells over here okay so as you can see uh, on Monday uh, the regular hours is 8 and let's copy down the formula and uh, I think uh, I have made a mistake so let's undo this okay and let's come back here again okay so let's go equals if tab so for the first logical test we want you to take the hours work if the hours work is greater than the standard working hours of a day and let's make this the absolute reference okay oh sorry let's use the control a function argument yes this one let's take the hours work if this is greater than the uh, standard hours work we will use the f4 to make it an absolute cell reference okay and if the value is true we want to display eight hours once again use the absolute cell reference which i did not just now okay so if the value is false we want it to display the number of hours work okay so this time is going to be okay so let's double click and now we have I, we either have eight hours or a different time which is same to this one over here so now that we have the regular hours we need to calculate the overtime hours okay so uh, for the overtime once again we will be using the if function so that equals if tap to function auto complete let's use control a to bring up the function arguments and for this we will let me put it here for this logical test will be if the hours work is greater than um, the regular hours again let's use the uh, f4 to lock the cell okay uh, if the value is true we want to count the amount of hours that the employee did okay so what we will do is we will take the the, uh, the hours work and subtract the regular hours okay and if the value is false we will just leave it zero okay so let's click OK and let's copy it down okay so now we have the overtime hours so on Monday the overtime is one hour Tuesday one and a half hours and uh, on Wednesday is one hour and there is no overtime on Thursday and Friday okay so now we have uh, the details that we need so what's next is we need to calculate the total so if I use the sum function here to to total uh, the number of hours work okay right parenthesis I'm going to get this answer this is definitely the wrong answer because I'm sure that I work more than 19 hours okay because 9 plus 9 is already uh, 18 so uh, the answer to this is once again is the formatting so let's right click go to format cells and this time in the format we need to do a variation on the on the format so we need to add a left and right bracket 
to the hour like this okay a left bracket h right bracket h colon and mm for the minutes and then click ok and now we have the answer 43 hours and let's copy this across and we will get the answers for the total hours of the regular work total hours of overtime work and this is the this is the total hours of uh, work okay and um, so now we can see that uh, now we can calculate the pay for the employee okay we have the total amount of regular hours and also the total amount for overtime hours so we can calculate the amount for regular hours here and the amount for the overtime hours over here okay but we have a problem because over here we have the data in time format and over here we have in currency so we need to do something extra so what we're going to do is I'm going to come to the cell below here and I'm going to make a reference to the cell above okay I'm going to use equals I'm going to take this cell over here I'm going to multi multiply it by 24 and I'm going to hit enter and now I'm going to change the format to a regular number okay and I'm going to copy this across okay so now we have this format in number so now we can calculate the the pay for the regular hours okay so the regular hours the standard hourly rate is $25 okay so what we're going to do is we're going to use a uh, calculation equals take the regular hours multiply it by the standard hourly rate and hit enter okay and let's do the same for the overtime take the overtime hours which is three and a half hours and three hours and 15, um, 15 minutes and multiply it by the overtime rate and we get 131.25 okay and this is the total okay and uh, So once we have these two, we can calculate the, the total pay for the employee. So this will be equals uh, sum um, this one plus this one. Okay, and hit enter. So there you have it. There we have the calculation, the pay uh, or the salary for the employee. The total for both his regular hours and overtime hours so we know for his regular hours this much amount is paid and for the overtime hours this much amount is paid so there you have it that is how you can calculate overtime hours on a time card in excel as well as the amount to pay for those overtime hours in excel okay i hope you like the video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video